Hello, I'm Travis Luther, president of Law Father, and welcome to this episode of Law Father Legal News. You know, many people are struggling financially right now, and a lot of them are wondering how they can pay all of their bills and meet their financial obligations. So with us today to discuss bankruptcy options in Colorado is bankruptcy attorney Jonathan Schultz. Uh, good morning, John. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, actually, I get that question a lot. How can I pay all my bills and also pay for a lawyer? Mm -hmm. And the answer is you can't unless you want to make small payments to me and finally get your case filed in June of next year. That's the last thing you want, basically. Right. Because the bills <clears throat> don't stop coming in just because you filed for bankruptcy. No. And what I tell people that there are some of those bills, I tell them I hope you're sitting down because there's some of those bills I'm about to tell you to stop paying on. And it's really foreign to most of us. We're, we're taught from a young age that we just have to pay our bills. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. It's our duty. But when you're thinking about a bankruptcy filing, you got to think about whatever debts are going to be discharged in your bankruptcy and not pay those bills anymore. It's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Those creditors will get mad, but we'll file that person's case so fast that they, the creditors won't be able to do anything about it. So withholding payments to companies that you know you're going to default on the loan, this is primarily where the income is generated to make the payment to the bankruptcy attorney and ultimately end those calls for collection. Well, it helps channel those funds and to be able to pay the lawyer what they have to do because all bankruptcy lawyers have to be paid in full before they'll file a person's Chapter 7 bankruptcy case. Let's talk about Chapter 7. Um, we hear a lot in the news about businesses filing for bankruptcy or businesses filing for bankruptcy protection. We get a lot of numbers, 11, 12, 13, 7. What are the, what are the, what are, what is the best bankruptcy option for your normal normal person who's not a business owner? Well, for the normal consumer slash individual, the two most popular options are the seven and the thirteen. And the chapter thirteen is very similar to what Frontier Airlines did with their chapter eleven. Most people are at least familiar. It's a restructuring of sorts. And so with the thirteen, they have to enter enter into a five year payment plan typically, where they pay one monthly payment to a trustee. And then at the end of five years, if there's any debt remaining, that would be discharged. Mm -hmm. But the idea with the 13 is they have to devote most of their disposable income towards the payments of that plan payment. Mm -hmm. Now, most people use a 13 uh, basically as a magic pill to save a house if they're behind on their monthly payments. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference with the Chapter 7 is that most you can get rid of all of your unsecured debts and... Uh, with a few exceptions, you know, we talked about earlier with uh, taxes, student loans, uh, domestic support obligations, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much everything else is dischargeable in a Chapter 7. Okay. And where is your office located? I am down on Quebec near Islet, near the Dumb Friends League. Okay. And does your firm offer free case consultations? Yes, we do. You do. Okay. Um, well, again, I want to thank you very much, Mr. Schultz, for coming down and talking to us for uh, a little bit about bankruptcy. You know, if you or a loved one are considering bankruptcy, uh, I would encourage you to call Jonathan Schultz. He can be reached at 303-368-0513. He can also be reached online at JPS bankruptcylawyer.vpweb.com. John, Jonathan, thank you again for coming down. I'm Travis Luther, president of Law Father. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Law Father Legal News. If you have a legal question or you have a legal concern, talk to our attorneys or visit them online at www.lawfather.com or you can also call our toll-free confidential law line at 855-LAW-5280. Again, that's 855-LAW-5280. Jonathan, thank you again. Thanks for having me.